I'm black. I'm Christian. And I'm a pansexual. It's cute in the street. I love everybody here. They've been good to me. you in the streets, you need to make sure you go to his bio right now and click that link, okay? What's up, y'all? Y'all like know who it is. It's your boy Q. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Q. Before I start, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to me so y'all can hear what your boy got to say. Subscribe to me, subscribe to my channel, and click that notification bell so you are left out as soon as I drop a video. So make sure you click that notification bell. So I know a lot of you guys are interested in the title, I'm Black. I'm Christian and I'm a pansexual well along my self journey that I've been on um, I'm starting to learn more and more and more and more and more and more about myself now before I start this video these views are my personal opinions personal facts if I get anything messed up, misconstrued, if I say a word that means something else, can y'all help me out and not tear me down? Because I know how we can do. Um, so again, before I start, these are my views. This is my opinion. This is my journey. This, the, this is how Quentin feels. Um, and I'm not forcing anything on anybody else. And I'm just going to maybe, you know, hopefully as I'm learning myself, be able to answer more questions about um, this topic. Because I know it's about to get a little interesting once this video drops. So, um, again, a lot of you probably know me from my reality show that I did, which was a um, gay platform. Thank you guys for tuning in. I know a lot of y'all are here from from that so and then for all my q-tips shout out to y'all thank y'all for being patient thank y'all for like literally riding this journey with me you know and i'm as i'm figuring it out we figuring it out together you guys are helping me you guys are um you guys are giving me knowledge you guys are giving me advice you guys are telling me hey q we with you take your time you know just check in and let us know what's going on so first of all I'm black, as you can see. Black, but I'm. let me tell you something. Let's be clear now. The black of the berry, the sweet of the juice. Let's be clear. Real real mocha latte. Yes, y'all better get into me. So now let's go ahead and get into the topic at hand. So I know I found out that I'm a part of the LGBT plus. So I am that P for the plus. Um... Where do I begin? So before I start, I want to first define Christian. So, oh, and I have my notebook because I did take notes before I just started this video and got to blabbing and put out a bunch of incorrect um, facts. I do know that I have a strong LGBT following, plus following, so I did want to make sure that my facts are somewhat in check. And if I get something wrong, y'all let me know again. So... Um, Christian, a person who has received Christian baptism or is a believer in Christianity. A person who has received Christian baptism. Um, as a baby, I was baptized at my home church, McLaughlin Chapel Ebenezer Church in little old Rayford, North Carolina. So I was baptized in within Christianity. I accepted Jesus Christ into my life and into my heart. Jesus loves me. He created me this way. And I know a lot of you guys may say, oh, uh, being gay is a choice. Being gay is a choice. Being gay is a choice. That's a whole nother video. But as for me, we're going to try to stay on topic as much as possible. Again, the definition of a Christian, a person who has received Christian baptism, which I have received, or is a believer in Christianity. Again, um, for those of you who may not believe in Christianity or you may have uh, another higher power or you may have another God or you may have w or whatever you have, I respect your views. I respect your opinions. I respect your comments. I love you. Um, I feel like we can have two separate um, 
I feel like we can have two separate, two separate higher powers and we can still love each other. So before you guys comment and try to get me together in some areas, um, yeah, let's just make sure that we're all being respectful. And if you do have a different opinion, different opinion, that we're able to converse about it down in the comments. Um, again, I love Jesus Christ. I respect your views and I just ask that you respect mine. All right. Again, I love God and I feel though I feel as though God has created me. Now I know a lot of you are saying, Q, you're gay, 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 you're gay. So I want you guys to get the definition of a homosexual. A homosexual is a person who is attracted to the same sex. Yes, I am attracted to the same sex. I have had I'm attracted to the same sex. I don't even have to go into details. It, it speaks for itself. I don't have to say I've had I don't have to say any of that. All I know is I'm attracted to the same sex. So does that make me homosexual? I'll give you a point for that. All right. So let's move into a pansexual. So a pansexual, first of all, pan is the Greek word for all. So pan is the Greek word for all. That means everything that's in this melting pot that we call america or wherever you are just in the entire world that's everybody if you are human who walk on this earth um you're included in that all into that boiling pot so again pan is the greek word for all pansexual not limited in sexual choice with regard to biological sex gender or or gender identity pansexual not limited in sexual choice that means i can choose whichever i want to whatever i feel whoever i have a connection with whoever i have a um a, a, a interaction with who whoever i connect with i connect with the heart i connect with the mind i connect with the soul so that could be connected to a I'm trying to let this video get demonetized. So it could just know it could it can be connected to whatever. So not limited in sexual choice. I can be connected to, attracted to whatever, long as it's within my choice. Not limited in sexual choice with regard to biological sex. That means you can biological, born, y'all following me? or gender identity identity people change their identity all the time so you could be something and change into something now when we're speaking of transitioning let's define transgender transgender relating to a personal identity personal identity and gender does not correspond with their birth sex because all right, let me read the definition again because I'm still learning as well. Transgender relating to a personal identity and gender does not correspond with their birth sex. So because you were born one way, you can transition into a transgender and become what you want. So whatever your mind thinks and the, 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 the body part attached to it is not the same, you can trans. So let's talk about cisgender, which was a word that was really heavy in 2019. I thought, I think it brought awareness to a lot, including myself, and I, I was like, wow. Cisgender, relating to, relating to a person whose sense of personal identity and gender corresponds with their birth sex cisgender relating to a person whose sense of personal identity and gender corresponds with their birth sex which brings me to my pronouns i quentin trevion harris is a man i consider myself a man i do not see myself transitioning into anything am i attracted to a transgender i could be if we had a connection are y'all following y'all not lost y'all not lost i don't want to lose nobody so i when i was born i was 
I was taught, I felt like I was, uh, um, I did boy things. So again, Q's pronouns are man, mister, gentleman, all that good, good carrying on. But I can track to, I can be attracted to anything which is my choice. So I do want to say some misconceptions about, um, about someone who's pansexual because I know you guys are like, oh, you can just walk outside and choose what you want to. And you know, it's not about just laying up and having sex. It's not like, oh, you know, oh, we're just using words like sexually fluid. Like I feel like sexually fluid is a cop out word for bisexual or pansexual, like sexually fluid. Like just say what you are, just my opinion. But again, a misconception is I have to be a, a misconception about being pansexual because I'm attracted to all. It's my choice, so I don't have to choose. I don't have to choose one. I know, and the reason I say that is because if I pop up on my timeline with a girl, with a girlfriend, I don't want people to be like, oh, well, he faking because he was supposed to be gay and we seen him on Chasing Atlanta and da 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 da. If I pop up with a boyfriend, um, he said he was pansexual, so if he just wanted to just date men, he should have just stayed, just said that he was gay and kept it at that, and da 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 da. Or, or you see me pop up with a transgender, and you just confused and just writing disrespectful comments, and so we're just trying to educate the people. So if y'all, if I, if if I fell in love with a transgender, and a transgender fell in love with me, and we had a strong connection, and that's why I decided I wanted to be with that's cues, what choice? That's my choice that's my choice so i just want everybody to understand what a pansexual is i could fall in love i get asked all the time q are you still attracted to women are you still attracted to women are you still attracted to women i always have said yes yes well, the last time i went home to north carolina i almost yes but I found out she had a boyfriend, so I was like, what's going on? But, and that's the thing, a lot of people understand my lifestyle and they're still attracted to me. So let's be clear that, oh, I seen Q on Chasing Atlanta that I ain't getting no, 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 ooh, nah, nah, through that me. Thank you. So with that being said, I'm attracted to all, and all is still attracted to me. Again, if I decide to fall in love with a beautiful transgender, and that's a trans woman or a trans man, I would just have to, we would have to learn each other and adjust and figure out, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. So if I, I think along this self journey, I never, I was like, oh, I'm a bisexual. I'd be like, oh, that sounds weird. But I'm just like, but I'm like, I'm attracted to a trans. I've seen, I've met some beautiful trans. I don't have any like close, personal people in my life like that but i have met plenty of beautiful trans women and some it, now y'all know the trans boys be some of the sexiest can you be like are you sure what like you'll be surprised and they'll be some of the and i'll be attracted to them like Full attracted from all angles. Okay, so I don't want to um, dwell on it for too long. Um, a myth, I talked about not being attracted. Oh, I don't want it. Like, again, a myth is I'm just attracted to anybody and I sleep with everybody and I can just play and do what I want to. Let's be clear. When I'm dating somebody, I'm loyal to that person. But I get to choose who I want to date. Just want to keep y'all up to speed, and uh, and also, I, this is not a, a um, it's not a trend, and this is not a phase, and this is just not something I'm going through. So I don't even want people to get that like caught up in their head, like oh, this is just something that he just don't want to be doing. Like no, this is not a trend, and it's not a phase. This is my actual life. All right, guys. So if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, um, to this video, I pretty much just put out like a lot of definitions for, because I do have a humongous straight following as well. So with that being said, I just wanted to kind of educate people along my journey so that we can ride this way together. All right, guys, follow me on all my social media sites at Quentin T. Harris God. And remember, I'm made in God's image. God made me this way. God has accepted me, and I'm asking that my Q-tip fam accept me as well. I'll catch y'all in the next video. It's your boy Q. I'll see y'all next time.